Hello, this is Beth with Noteworthy Software. The Noteworthy Composer program feature covered in this video is Staff Layering, how to notate two voices on a staff. The file I have open is located in the Samples folder, File, Open Sample, Layering. This file uses staff layering to combine four voices into two staves. There is the view of the four individual voices and then combined. You can change the view using the icon or from view, layering in edit mode. The next thing you'll need to know is how to set a staff to layer with the one below it. You can go to staff, staff properties, visual tab, and check layer with next staff. This allows the soprano staff to layer with the alto staff. For the alto staff, there's nothing to be done, but we can use the quick key F2 to go to staff properties and make sure that layer with next staff is not checked. One more way to set layer with the next staff is right click in the panel and make sure layer with next staff is checked. And then if we would just want to check for the next one, we can see that that is not invoked. So that's the way that you'll set up one staff to layer with the staff below it. And one other setting we have is file page setup contents allow layering. If you have this turned off, then when you go to print preview, then all the files will, the staves will print separately. But once you make sure that that's set to allow layering, when you go to print preview, then they will be merged into the two staves. So that's just a quick overview of staff layering and the primary commands used. We have view, layering in edit mode, we have layer with next staff, and then we have file page setup allow layering. Once you start working with layering, then you may run into cases where you need to move your note over a little bit or move your accidental over a little bit. So here's an example of that. Using staff layering here, my notes look okay. But before I started the video, I had edited this to show extra note spacing for that note. Otherwise, when the notes are merged together, it's not very clear what needs to be done. But if you just use the command extra note spacing, then it looks nice. Same thing for accidentals. Here, I've already moved the accidental over a little bit, but if to do that, you select the note press Alt-Enter for notation properties and set the accidental spacing. So here's the case where it's all combined and you don't know which is which. Go Alt-Enter, set extra accidental spacing, and then things will look better. The last thing is the articulation. Here I've already corrected it so you can see the um, staccato at the top, but if I had not done that, the default would have been the staccato at the bottom of the note and there you would not have been able to see it. So I selected the note, press Alt Enter, use stem for articulations and then you can see. So that's a quick overview of staff layering and thank you for using Noteworthy Composer.